Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you 10 fussy eater breakfast ideas. You guys seem to love the last video that I did on fussy eater meals. So today, I thought I would focus on some breakfast ideas and these are all very easy to do. They're super healthy. They're tried and tested on my own kids and they also have hidden veggies and fruit in them. So I hope you really enjoy these ideas. Give this video a big like if you like it and if you're new to my channel, I would love you to consider subscribing just by hitting the little red button below and also let me know in the comments if you want me to do like a fussy eater lunch ideas and more dinner ideas as well because I have a fussy eater so I have some experience in this area uh, but with all that said let's get into my 10 breakfast ideas. Okay, so the first breakfast that I wanted to share with you is French toast. All you'll need for this is bread, egg and cinnamon as well. This is such a simple and quick breakfast. My children always eat it all up and it's also a great way to get some protein into their breakfast and diet, especially if they don't normally like the texture of egg. My fussy eater doesn't, but he will eat this entire breakfast. So if I was making it just for one child, I would have one piece of bread, I would whisk up one whole egg and add a little bit of cinnamon as well. So on that piece of bread, they're basically getting an entire egg as well. So as you can see, I've just dipped the bread into the egg mixture with the cinnamon, um, flipped it, made sure it's kind of like soaked up the egg, and now I'm just gonna put it into my frying pan and cook it and flip it a bit like a pancake. Um, and yeah, as I said, there's a whole egg on that bread. And then once it's all cooked on both sides, I'll take it off. I normally cut it up into bite-sized pieces, but if your child prefers um, fingers like that, you can also do that for um, weaning as well. Um, and then I'll just put a little bit of maple syrup on it so it really sweetens it up and it's really nice with the cinnamon as well. I would totally eat this for breakfast and then I would serve it with a little bit of fruit. This is such a winner and I would totally recommend it because my kids love it. This next one is a really fun idea. It's a donut bagel, but it's not actually as sweet as you may think. So my kids really like these Warburton thin bagels. They're a bit easier for them to eat. Um, so I'll just toast that, add a little bit of soft cheese, and then what you can do to like make it look a bit more enticing to a fussy eater or to a child is I will put on a few little sprinkles on top of the soft cheese and it looks like an iced donut, but of course it is just a bagel with cream cheese. But then once they taste it and try it because it looks a bit like a donut and it's a bit more fun, then they'll realize that they like it and that it's really delicious. So this is one of my youngest favorite breakfasts. He'll often ask me for like a donut in the morning, but he actually means this <laughs> and Caleb likes it as well. They actually really enjoy putting the sprinkles on themselves. Um, so yeah, this is another really simple one, but one that they all really enjoy. And we make these bagels on sprinkles. And then we put we put Teller on there. Caleb said Teller, but Teller. he wanted the Teller, didn't he? But it's not allowed to go on, so <laughs> can't put them on bagels. So funny! I don't tend to let them have Nutella on the weekdays, so that's what Jackson was talking about. But now I wanted to show you a delicious cinnamon roll smoothie. So all you'll need for this is some ice. Then you'll want to add in some yogurt and I'll put the measurements um, in the description down below. You'll also add in a little bit of cinnamon and also some vanilla extract. You'll also add in a whole banana or if you don't have ice and you have a frozen banana, that will also work well. And then you'll add in some almond milk, just a little bit or any milk you have will also work. Then I just blend all of that up in my Nutra bullet, and then that is a delicious smoothie that tastes a bit like a cinnamon roll, and it's really sweet, it's really yummy, but it's got like, if, especially if you use Greek yogurt again, there's a bit more protein, it's just got a bit more to it. Where I found this recipe, they also said to add vanilla protein powder, but I wasn't sure about including that for kids, but it's really delicious. Next up, I wanted to show you how to make some wholemeal waffles. My kids really like waffles. I got a very cheap um, machine on Amazon 
and it's something that we'll make on the weekend and I'll often batch cook it because they freeze really well and then you can just pop them into the toaster. So for this recipe, I'm adding in one and a half cups of milk and then a third of a cup of melted butter along with an egg and a little bit of vanilla extract. Then I'm whisking all of that up and then in another bowl I have mixed up the dry ingredients which is one and a half cups of whole wheat flour and two teaspoons of baking powder and you can add a pinch of salt if you want to as well. But before I use my waffle maker I tend to just spray it with a little bit of coconut oil and then I tend to spoon it in with my ice cream scoop. And then I just leave that to cook and I keep checking on it until it's all done. And with a batch like this, it will make about three or four large waffles. So as I said, I'll batch cook it and then freeze it for later. And then when I do serve it to the boys, I'll just add a little bit of maple syrup. Again, you're gonna see a lot of maple syrup in this video. Um, and then, um, yeah, they're delicious. And because they're whole wheat and like wholemeal, it's a little bit more healthy. Now onto the green monster smoothie or the Hulk smoothie. I've been sharing this on my channel for about six years now. It's Caleb's absolute favorite. All you'll need for this is a whole banana. You can also add in some mango if you have it, but if not, honey works really well as well, like a tablespoon of that. Then you'll wanna add in a giant handful of spinach, um, some milk as well, about 200 ml, and then also a big tablespoon of a nut butter. I'm using almond butter. Um, and then you'll just whiz all of that up and it's so delicious. This is such a great way to get spinach into your children's diet. And I love using spinach in this way because it doesn't actually taste of anything so it's very like inoffensive for kids but it's so healthy gives them loads of iron so give this one a try and another firm favorite in this house with me matt and the kids is our protein pancakes again great to get protein into your kids first thing in the morning before they go off to school and so simple all you'll need for this is a whole banana two eggs and then you'll want to add in about a teaspoon of baking powder to fluff up the pancakes and then a big tablespoon of almond butter so if i was making this for my whole family i would double this batch um, and then all i do is whiz this in the nutribullet and then i will go to my frying pan spray a little bit of coconut oil in the frying pan and then fry these like pancakes. I would say that they are very thin pancakes because the mixture is quite thin. So what I tend to do when I serve them is stack them in either two or three, but super healthy, really delicious. Again, I'll serve it with a little bit of maple syrup and some fruit as well, maybe some blueberries, raspberries, strawberries, whatever we have. And yeah, it's a really good one. And I always feel like I'm sending the kids off to school with a nice full tummy. And when I eat this, I am full until lunchtime. So it's a great one. So next up, I'm gonna show you a recent recipe that I found for Wheat Bix muffins. Wheat Bix is such a good cereal for your kids to eat and mine loved it as babies when they were weaning, but as they got older, they liked it less and less. But if your kids eat this, it's such a good one because it's totally green, there's no sugar, it's low GI, and it's just a really good cereal. So you can cook with it, or you can even include it into smoothies as well. But today I'm making muffins with it, so I've crunched up about three Wheat Bix and then I'm mixing in some wholemeal flour and I'll make sure to put the whole recipe in the description down below. So I put my dry ingredients in one bowl and then I'm gonna mix up my wet ingredients which is butter or preferably coconut oil melted if you have it but I didn't today. Then I'm adding in one egg, some honey and then also some milk and I'm just going to mix all of that together and then I'll mix the wet ingredients and the dry ingredients together. And then I'm just going to add in some fruit, um, like blueberries, so, and then the blueberries like melt when you cook them and it makes it that bit sweeter and that bit more delicious. I also added in some lemon zest because I had it and this recipe called for it. And then I'm going to spoon the mixture into my silicone muffin tray um, using my ice cream scoop as usual. And then I'm going to cook them. I think it was on 180 for about 20 to 25 minutes. I just kept an eye on them and then that 
that was it. They were done. The first time I tried it, I was really surprised at how yummy these actually were. I was eating them and enjoying them. And this is also like quite a nice snack or like part of a breakfast. Um, and yeah, they look really good. And as I said, they're really super healthy. So another idea, which you could include this in, is a snack breakfast or a breakfast tapas. My kids love this. If I give them like three or four or five different things on a plate, they get really excited by it and the fact that it's like a little bit different. So these are just a couple of examples for you. I put some cheese on toast, some grapes cut up, some yogurt and granola, or you could put a muffin and some clementine, even some cheese or some dry Cheerios and just let them snack away on this little buffet. Another muffin recipe that I wanted to share with you that has lots of hidden veggies in it is carrot muffins. So for this, you will need carrot puree. So to do this, I have literally just chopped up and cooked some carrots, two large carrots, and you'll just wanna cook it until it's really soft like you would if you were pureeing it for a baby that was being weaned. If you are doing that, you could also make more so that you could also make muffins. So once you have cooked and pureed your carrots, and I blend it really, really smoothly so there's no bits, nobody knows what is in there, <laughs> um, you'll wanna put it in a bowl with two eggs and some melted butter, about 100 grams of melted butter. So I'm whizzing all of that up with my little whisker, and then in I'm gonna just add in my dry ingredients, which is two teaspoons of baking powder, again, some cinnamon, a teaspoon of that, and then also some flour. I'm just using 160 gram of plain flour, and then I'm gonna mix that all up as well. And as you can see, it's very smooth, but it's got like a bit of an orange color to it, which is actually quite fun. The kids may not know that it is carrot. Then I'm just gonna spoon it into my silicone cases, stick that into the oven. Again, I think it was on 180 for about 20 minutes, but I will link the full recipe in the description down below. For some reason, it's supposed to make 12, but whenever I make a recipe, it tends to make 10, so I'm probably too generous. Um, but yeah, then these come out, and considering there is no sugar in them at all, they're a little bit sweet from the carrot, and they're super healthy, so yeah, it's a good, like, I think this would be really nice as an on-the-go or on-the-side breakfast. And the last recipe that I wanted to share with you is for apple and cinnamon oats. And I've put this right at the end of the video because I know for some fussy eaters, oats is very offensive to them. <laughs> but if you can get your kids to eat oats, this is a really sweet recipe and it's pretty easy as well. So all I'm gonna do is cook the oats on the hob kind of like you normally would. I'm using jumbo oats, but you could use smaller ones if you want to. And I've also added in an entire apple that has been grated, and I'm adding in a teaspoon of cinnamon as well, and a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Then I'm going to add in some raisins. You can add in more than that if you want to, but I've basically just done like a handful of raisins. And then I'm going to stand there and mix and mix and mix until the oats are all cooked. Again, I'll link the recipe down below, but once it is all cooked together, you'll add in just a little bit of milk just to make it that bit more creamy, but this is also a great way to cool it down. So I'm just gonna mix that through and then put it into a bowl and serve, and it's really sweet. Again, cinnamony and lovely. So that is it. I hope you really enjoyed these Fussy Eater breakfast ideas. Please let me know if you give any of them a try, and thank you so much for watching this video, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye, guys.